today's video was absolutely insane. Quite possibly one of the craziest videos we have ever done. Finally tracking down and finding the people that are dumping animals at the train tracks. We just found another train track that appears to have dumped animals. Oh my gosh, guys. Right here in this bag. This is really bad. And I want to try and move the blanket out of the way. And yep, this is definitely a dog. We've got, got some movement. Oh, we got someone on it. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day And for those of you that are new here, well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my crazy jungle Now if you guys saw the title and thumbnail you will know for today's video that of course today's video was absolutely insane Quite possibly one of the craziest videos we have ever done and that is finally tracking down and finding the people that are dumping animals at the train tracks if you guys have seen these videos right here then you know exactly Exactly what I'm talking about and if you're new here well go watch these videos after but basically my sister Hannah and I have been going to these train tracks for years now and we found both alive animals and a bunch of sacrificed animals that have been dumped there so today we decided to set some hidden cameras to finally track down and catch the people doing it so if you want to know what we found on those hidden cameras what other animals we found at the train tracks well guys you are in the right place and we're gonna hop right into that we just found another train track that appears to have dumped animals. Now, in the past, we've gone to the same train track, but I followed that same train track and kind of outlined the entire map of where it runs. So we pulled up to this spot right here, and if you look right over here, you can see there's a cardboard box right there, kind of this brown bag, and that bag right there is kind of an indicator for Santeria. At all the locations we've been to, we've seen brown bags like that, so let's get out and let's check it out. And right as I open the window and smell the air, I can already smell death. You can already smell dead animals, so I think we're gonna find some crazy stuff here. So I was gonna open this bag up, but it's honestly so dry and so hard that I don't even wanna open it up because I'm gonna have to touch it and it really smells. So we're gonna keep investigating. This was the first area that we stopped at today. We're not gonna be setting our camera trap here, but we're gonna head to the other train tracks now, the ones that we've been to before, and that's where we're gonna set our hidden camera. So right here, we just pulled up to another train track and there is a black vulture that's right here at the train track. So that to me is an indicator that there's definitely something that's dead and dumped on the train tracks. The vultures like to feed off of rotting flesh. This guy is circling around and waiting for the cars to kind of pass by because this is a busy road. But this guy's just kind of circling around. So for right now, we're gonna head across the street to see what the vulture was eating. Now I have no idea what it is. We could be dealing with dogs, cats, goats, chickens, raccoons. And by looking at it, I have no idea what this is because it's literally just fur. But let's get a little bit closer. And now by getting a little closer, I can clearly see that it's a dog. We can see its paws and we can see all of the dog's toys that are dumped here. Now, the person that dumped this dog, you can see it says Gouda Dog on it. We've got all of his toys right here. We've got his rope toys. We've got his tennis balls. So this is honestly making me really sad right now to think that someone would dump their dog here. But at the end of the day, if you dump your dog on a train track like trash, then you are trash yourself. This is really sad to see, so we're gonna grab this pipe right here, and I wanna try and move the blanket out of the way, and yep, this is definitely a dog. We've got the teeth from the dog, which is really sad. We've got all of the dog's toys right here. And this is honestly one of the worst and terrible things that I've ever seen. So we're definitely not gonna be setting the camera on this side of the train track because there's no way to mount it to actually hide the camera, but we're gonna be setting it over on this side. There's a lot of thick, dense brush where we can hide the camera where no one will see it. So we've made our way to the other side of the train tracks and it smells so bad. Sean, do you smell that? Oh, yeah. Yep, it smells really bad. And I have no idea what we're gonna find because there's boxes and bags and all kinds of trash here. So we're just gonna kind of walk on the outside because this whole area here is littered with bones. We already see some dried remnants of bones right here on the train tracks. And we have no idea what we're gonna find. We've got a box right here. I'm not sure what's in that box. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh, guys. Right here in this bag, this is really bad. So we see a bunch of animals in here and there's a turtle. There's also a turtle in the bag. So what I'm seeing in this bag is we've got one chicken head here, two chicken heads. We've also got right here, let me show you. This right here is the horn cover of a goat. This is kind of the outside keratin layer that's on the outside of a goat horn. 
and that looks like that that was supposed to go right here on this goat horn and there's a turtle inside of here now this is the first time i've ever seen brujaria with a turtle this is absolutely insane that we're finding this we've got all the chickens and it looks like these animals have been here for weeks this is oh my god there's another one there's another one Oh my gosh, there's another chicken in this bag right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the bag is kind of disintegrating right here. We've got all the feathers from the chicken. So we are already off to a really bad start. We found a dog, we found turtles, goats, chickens, and I don't know what else we're gonna find. So right here in this trash pile, luckily this looks just like trash, even though it's really bad that people are dumping their trash on the train tracks when we have dumps. You can see there's shoes, there's bottles, there's all kinds of stuff, but we're not seeing any animals here. And I spoke too soon because there's feathers right there from a white bird. There's more feathers here from another bird. And I don't even wanna know what's in these trash bags. We're gonna continue walking over the train tracks and I have no idea what we're gonna find, but what I'm thinking over here is I'm thinking we're gonna set this kind of trail camera like right over here in these bushes, like tucked away where no one's gonna see it because people are definitely dumping all over here. But we really gotta just watch our step because we don't wanna step in any animals. So I have seen enough here at the train tracks to know that something has got to be done to stop the people that are dumping these animals. It's so sad to see. And this time we found a dog, we found chickens, we found turtles, we found all kinds of stuff and trash. So I'm gonna head to the car right now. We're gonna grab that hidden camera and we're gonna set it up and hopefully catch the culprits. So I know it's really windy out right now, so I hope you guys can hear me clearly, but right here we've got our hidden trail cam right here. This is the camera that we're gonna use to try and catch the people that are dumping the animals now. It's silent it's infrared so they should have no idea that it's here so we're gonna take the camera right over this way we're gonna get it set up we're gonna get it hidden and hopefully in the next couple days we're gonna catch some people here so guys comment down below do you think we're gonna catch the people so there's not many areas that we can mount this camera to where we're actually gonna still be able to see the train tracks we kind of found this little area right here and because this is a camouflage camera and it's gonna be at night I don't think anyone's gonna see this camera so we're gonna bring this camera kind of like right over here just like this and we're gonna actually mount the camera to the tree. It's gonna be kind of really hard for anyone to see this. So all we gotta do is we just gotta kind of wrap this around here. And just like that, our trail cam is installed and mounted to the tree. So this is facing the train tracks right in the area that we want to catch the people dumping the animals. So we're gonna open it on up right now to kind of get this thing turned on and set in place. So we're gonna put it to quick setting number one, which should get some photo and video for us. So we've got the camera is on, it's ready to go. So we're gonna close this on up just like that. We're gonna latch it on shut and now the camera is hidden and ready to go now if we kind of step away right now it's actually really hard to see this camera from a distance especially at nighttime I don't think anyone at nighttime is gonna see this camera so guys I will be back with all of you in the next couple days we're gonna leave it here for probably about four or five days or so then we're gonna come back we're gonna check the camera and see if we catch the culprits Zushi, Zizi, come here. So guys, we have made it back from checking out the abandoned train tracks and all of the crazy stuff there. And what better way to come back home than with my two giant dogs. What really made me wanna come see my dogs was seeing that poor unloved dog dumped at the train tracks. It's so sad that someone would do that. I mean, look at this. These dogs are man's best friend. All they want is all the love in the world and we have got all the treats in the world from them. So we got all these snacks right here. So we got these, we got that one. We got all of our dogs eating these little sausage treats right here, which we don't really give them treats that often, but these guys are absolutely loving it. And I wish that everyone in the world would give their dogs love just like this. So now that we got to give Zeus and Xena some delicious treats, well now is the waiting game, guys. We gotta wait for the, about the next week or so. Then we're gonna go back to the train tracks and check our camera. One week later. All right, guys, we just got back to the train tracks and it has been about a week since we set our camera. Now the real question is, is the camera still there? I have not been back since, so someone could have seen the camera they could have stolen it I have no idea but let's head over and let's check on our camera all right so as we're walking we have the Mick chicken box that we found a long time ago that still has chickens in it it's the Mick chicken box with Mick chickens in it let's head over and yes baby yes our camera is still there I could see it mounted so the camera did what it was supposed to do it stayed hidden no one saw it which honestly I was a little nervous that it was gonna go missing but it wasn't that expensive so that's okay so we're gonna go right over here let's see yes sir 
Look at that, we still got our camera on the tree after a week, so we're gonna take this bad boy off right here, and we have got to see what we're gonna find. Let's see, oh, we still got our SD card inside of the camera. So we've got our trail cam here, now we're just gonna kinda walk around and see if we see anything new here. But the real question is, did we catch anything on this camera, guys? Let me know down below, what do you think? Are we gonna find someone on this camera? So we made it back into the car, we've got our trail cam here, and we are headed back home, and we're gonna plug this thing into the computer and see what we can find. All right, guys, we have made it home and now the moment all of you have been waiting for the moment of truth are we going to find something on the camera did this camera pick something up well guys there's only one way to find out and we are gonna open it up we're gonna pop our SD card out and we're gonna plug it into the laptop and see what we can find so we're gonna plug it on in just like that and let's see it pop up we're gonna click on it guys right now okay let's see baby okay we got some pictures we've got some movement oh we got someone on it. Guys, we've got someone at the train tracks at night on February 13th at 12.48 a.m. So we've got that, okay. So right here, I'm kinda shaking a little bit because I wasn't sure if we were actually gonna get someone on camera. But right here, we got a random guy in a hoodie and he's there at the train tracks in it. Now what we wanna see is we wanna kinda zoom in to see what's in his hand because he looks like he's reaching down here at the train tracks for something. We got it right there. Oh, he's got something in his hand right there. Okay, this guy's got it in his hand right here. Look at this. So whatever he has, it looks like, looks like, well, actually, I don't know what this is now because it looks like he's playing baseball with this thing. It looks like he's got a baseball bat, but I'm not sure what he's doing here. Guys, we're not seeing anything in the frame though, so it looks like he's, looks like there's nothing on the train tracks itself, but there's, I honestly have no idea. There's definitely a bag there, and that bag was in the video. I think if we roll some clips of when we were there, that bag was there, but that bag's been there from the beginning. But I have no idea what this guy is doing here. Wait, let's try to zoom in. Guys, that's what we got. That is the guy that we've got. We can't see really much of anything here. But this is all between, let's see, this is between 12.48 a.m. and 12.50 a.m. Oh, and he's got something in his hand. It looks like he's got a lighter, guys. I am not entirely sure. Wait, I think this is what he had in his hand right here. It looks like, it looks like a PVC pipe or something. I have no idea. But guys, we got someone on camera, but I'm not sure what they're doing. I don't know if they're doing voodoo. I can't tell. It doesn't look like they're doing anything crazy. So guys, I guess we're going to have to go back, set that camera again, and see if we can find something else. So that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope you guys did enjoy watching today's video, tracking down people dumping animals at the train tracks. Maybe this guy was doing that. Maybe he wasn't. I have no idea, honestly, but that's what we got. So make your judgment for yourselves, guys, and comment down below. Was this guy dumping animals? Or or was this just some crazy guy at the train tracks? Honestly, I can't tell. So guys, if you enjoyed today's video, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think. And if you guys are not yet subscribed yet to me and you want to see what happens when we set more cameras, well guys, all you have to do is go right now and subscribe below.